This is Classic FM. Hi, Tim Leora here on Classic FM. It doesn't get any better than this. I'm sat up here on our veranda, if you like, talking to the man of the moment very much in classical music, Eric Whitaker. Eric, lovely to meet you again. Great to be here, Tim. Uh, we are talking today VC4. Yes. The, the, there was a time in classical music when VC meant cello, but now it <laughs> means, first thing it means for everyone is virtual choir four. It's out. How did it go? Hey, it's beyond, beyond anything I imagined. It's, uh, the reaction's been terrific. Uh, I'd say 95% love it and love this new direction that we took for this one. 5% are completely aghast <laughs> at adding the electronica and, and uh, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, well, that, that, it seems we're there already. It's, it is a, it's, not, it's not a departure, it's a development, I suppose, for you. Was that always on the plan? Was that always the... Yeah, I mean, I knew that for Virtual Part 4, it, it, this musical that I've written, Paradise Lost, uses dance electronica and this kind of stuff, dubstep and drumstep, and so... Uh, I knew that I was going to incorporate it from the beginning. I even let the singers know that. Yeah. But no, we, you, I remember you said it last time we met. You said it was yeah, I remember. But exactly. I just I think some of the singers weren't prepared when they finally heard it. I mean, it's a very small but vocal group who they just want to hear the the a cappella choral version. Funnily enough, you know, one of the arguments on that side has been that that in the mix that the voices are too low. Uh, compared to the electronics, which of course I don't find. I, I, for me, it's the perfect mix, mm. and Guy Sigsworth, who produced the track, did a beautiful job with it. But so I went back and, and just for the heck of it, I went and listened to, uh, I listened to Mahler too, and I listened to uh, Carmina Burana, and I listened to the Verdi Requiem, and even with 200 voices, oftentimes <laughs> the chorus is struggling. It's, yeah. You know, it, it's a partnership. It's mm. not choir with a little orchestral accompaniment. It's the wall of sound, yeah. and that's what we were trying to achieve with this. No, for me it works perfectly, actually. I, I did wonder, it famously premiered in Buckhouse, more it premiered. Or, yes, in Buckhouse. Um, how, how was the reaction there? That was, it was pretty thrilling. I mean, I have to say it was surreal to look out on the crowd and see the royal family out there and, and then turn around and do this virtual choir. <laughs> um, but the, the, the audience, at least, live really embraced it there was a genuine cheer all three nights that we did it wow. and um, yes yeah, so, so that was good and, and it was just it was a real highlight for me being I, there I can imagine I mean three nights at Buckingham Palace must have been just such fun apart from anything else yeah I, th I think most the most fun was by the third night we were all it was all old hat so <laughs> we were just walking through the palace and you know <laughs> I could really get used to that I, I saw um, I know a few people in the National Youth Orchestra there and they were all getting the selfies uh, pictures oh, with yeah. you um, they are a great band I just wanted to touch on them for a moment I mean it must have been fun with them a fantastic band and and uh, yeah, I got to spend uh, some time with a bunch of them. My, one of my big regrets, and I didn't realize it until we, I was on stage performing, but the way I was set up, I was here, the choir was here, the electronics and video were playing this way. But then just behind them, waiting to go on next, was the orchestra all sitting there. And I thought, had I known, I would have written them apart. You know, <laughs> we've got everybody else up here just making this wall of sound. Let's, let's, involve, let's involve the orchestra, too. And, and uh, uh, she's very hard. I should, I should be very careful how I go here, otherwise I'll be in the tower. But could you get any reaction from the Queen? She, she reacts very little, doesn't yeah, she? I, There's always the Queen smile there. I, I didn't see her, but um, afterwards we met Prince Edward and Sophie. And they couldn't have been more gracious. And, and, and actually, Sophie was sweet. She said, I, I quite like the music. I like this new sound. And I like so. Wow. So presumably, I mean, are you giving yourself, are you in the calm period yet? Uh, does, did you have calm periods? Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, it's, it's calm-ish right now. And then I'm, <laughs> I'm rushing to, to finish something up so that um, I'll, I'll go to Germany next week for the Schleswig Holstein Festival oh, right, right. and be there for five days. But then after that, with my family in the States for three weeks of sun. And does does virtual choir go with you? I, know, I noticed on YouTube it's got two two hundred fifty thousand views or something. Yeah, that's something right. That's phenomenal already. But does it? Do you tour it, or does it just exist where it exists? Uh, it you know, it's an interesting question. So it, it, we, normally we don't tour it. Although I, I give a lot of these these talks yeah, where I, yeah. I uh, show it. But in Schleswig Holstein next week, I'll do as part of the concert a live performance, kind of the way we did at Buckingham Palace. Um, so that's exciting. Mm. And more and more, I think I want to try this kind of thing, incorporating virtual choir into live performance. Well, it made me wonder, because you are, I mean, chiefly choral music. Um, I, I seem to remember my daughter was in a wind band. She played Godzilla, Godzilla. in Las Vegas, which <laughs> yeah. 
Am I remembering this wrongly? Did it have Elvis narrating, or they had a man dressed as Elvis narrating it? Uh, it doesn't have to. There's it, there's a narrator part that, it, it, or it's it's really a screenplay. People, right. But I invite people to do whatever they they can with it. But the people dress up as Elvis, and there's there's Godzilla. <laughs> Mostly, right. it, it, I was trying to make a, a very bad film score to a, a film that was never made, you know, a, yeah, a classic movie, yeah. 50s B movie yeah. film, and I had a blast writing it. Oh, well, they have a blast playing it. I've never seen anything like it. it was Godzilla <laughs> came down from the back of the... Oh, seriously? Yeah, they, they, did it, they did it in big style. It was, <laughs> but it did make me wonder, do you, do you have plans for virtually virtual orchestra, or is it... Are you, are you just... You know, we more, talk about oh, this every time, yeah. and, and within the community, band and orchestra, people have, have written in a lot saying, when are we going to do... The, there's two two parts to it. One is that it's become now a thing. Yeah, it, just the, the production of it. Mm -hmm. It's really eight months of of hard work. Yeah. Um, and even this time with the Kickstarter campaign, we had to raise the money to make it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so so it's a thing. And then second, what I'm concerned about is that it, it just the poetry of seeing those voices and the, the faces and, and people singing mm -hmm. the the oldest possible instrument in the mm -hmm. newest possible technology. Mm -hmm. It, I just I love that juxtaposition, and my concern is with an orchestra, you could have ten thousand violins, but mm -hmm. it's really going to sound like twelve violins or yeah. thirty violins, yeah. and 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 I'm 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 afraid you lose the humanity mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Not not that orchestral music no. loses the humanity, no. but just I'm not sure it would translate across the medium. And and you uh, sorry I'm getting into the wrong area now, but I'm, I sense you're touched by are you touched by words first or when you is that why? Why well, it's important to, to to be acquired? Do you react to the words you see, or do, when you might write your own words, or is it? Do you hear a choral sound? What comes first? Yeah, I think that's it. I think, especially, I think the reason I'm attracted to vocal music is is that you have these different layers that, mm. like opera, the, the the poetry itself is so dense and rich already, mm. and then with music, if you can illuminate the meaning under those words, mm. then you create this. Uh, a, a multi-layered work work of art, which which I'm immensely attracted to. So yeah, and and when I write, I generally start with the poem first, and then try to set it to music. And on that level, are you are there commissions in place at the moment? Are there always things that you have to get back to to work on? Or? Yeah, I've got a, a commission for a choral piece coming up, and I'm writing an orchestral work oh, uh, yeah. for Hamburg Symphony for next year that I'm oh, very wow. excited about. Wow. It'll be uh, Bachianus Americanus. Oh, fantastic! So I'm taking the Bach C minor prelude, and then I'm going to deconstruct it uh, American style. Oh, fantastic! Um, oh, wow! And then, uh, God forbid, but we're already talking about virtual choir five. <laughs> 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 oh wow! I don't know what I've gotten myself into yeah. with this stuff. Get your summer holiday in quickly. You know, yeah, exactly. Is, there, is are you always allowed to? I mean, I spoke to one composer once who said, "You can, if you're lucky, always twist what's in your head to the commission." Does, is that allowed, or are you able to say, "I need to explore this right now. We'll do this." You know, I discovered years ago that that w within a certain boundary, what, what I do now is I. Uh, instead of somebody coming to me and saying, we need a four to five minute piece and it needs to be written on this text, and that, for whatever reason, that just doesn't work for me. Oh, right, right. So actually what I do is I just pitch the piece that I feel like writing, and I say, here's what I want to do. Are you interested in, mm -hmm. in helping to make this happen? And that just goes so much more smoothly. Yeah. A much more honest relationship as well. Yeah, for me. I mean, I, I've always admired a composer, like say Bach, for instance, mm -hmm. who the gig was that, you know, Sunday we need a motet, and here's the text, and then he just does it. Yeah. Yeah. Endlessly and inventively, and, and I, I wish I could be that composer, but I, uh, I, I just don't seem to be. No, uh, bizarre, slightly bizarre. Final question: You tweeted just the other day something in was it in Morse code? It was either in Morse code in or Morse was, code. In was it in Morse? Just put me out of my misery. What did it say? It said, um, "Nerds of the world, hello." <laughs> And, I'm uh, so glad I asked. <laughs> yeah, it was the ultimate way to out the nerds on Twitter because you know immediately people wrote back. Not only hello, but also some <laughs> wrote me back in, in, in Morse code. Morse. Yeah, exactly. No, so, um, <laughs> well, I don't need to go hunting your from hidden messages of Morse in your previous pieces. They're, they're, no, although the, of course the minute I tweeted, it, I thought you know this looks like rhythm, yeah, and yeah. I'm sure I wouldn't be the first person to try this. But why not build an entire piece yeah. around Morse yeah. code? It could be fascinating. And, and God knows the messages. You can make a whole suite Absolutely. for that, actually. <laughs> Eric, thank you ever so much for coming in and talking to us. And all the best with 
if it comes, VC5. Oh, and, and real quick, Tim, I have to say oh. congratulations on oh. being part of VC4. Oh, stop it. Stop did you, it, stop did you it, find stop yourself? I, well, the, the, the building found me. They think they found me and they outed me online. So yeah, yeah. we think this is him. I'm presuming you had the button turned down. I hope you had the button no, turned down. No, 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 no. Your, your, your track was spectacular. In fact, we used you as part of the core sound. Stop it. To help stop tune it. the other. No, it was. we were so glad to have you. All right. It was, it was an absolute pleasure. Loved every minute of it. Thank you. Everybody. Thanks, and thanks for Cheers. having me again.